Hi, I'm BJ Larmoot for Lion Athletics. I'm joined by head men's basketball coach Jarrett Von Rosenberg. And coach, your team is coming off a split last week with a tough loss at Angelo State and then rebounding with that overtime win against the A&M Kingsville. Talk about your team's performance in the past two games. Oh, well, you know, I, I think we've played uh, good basketball teams. And um, anytime you go on the road, especially in this league, it, it's going to be tough to get a win. You know, uh, Angelo State, I thought, played very well. They shot the ball particularly well uh, in our game. Uh, and we weren't able to get enough stops and obviously score enough to, to be in that game late. Uh, then we go down to Kingsville, and, you know, to end the, end the league, we have six really, really tough opponents, so it, you, you got to get wins where you can, and we were able to come out on top. And, you know, we really bounced back from Thursday, probably, you know, probably the most lopsided game of the year as far as Angelo hand, handling us pretty well. Um, so it was just good to come back from that and uh, get a win. Speaking of overtime games, I think they're going to start calling your guys the cardiac kids after another overtime performance, four in the last three weeks, and a lot of close games, you know, one possession or or even closer. Talk about uh, your team's performance in those close games and how you've been able to come out on top for the most part. Well, you know, I, I wish I had a specific answer of why we've been able to come out on top, but, you know, if I had that answer, maybe we wouldn't have to be so close and we could just do it earlier in the game but no I mean we've talked about from day one um and we've said it to our guys a lot we just want to put ourselves in position we want to play well enough for 39 minutes to be have a chance to win late um and, and we feel very good in overtime it's obviously because of the success we've had in overtime uh but I feel like you know sometimes we haven't played well and we found a way to get to overtime and, and we've played very well in that overtime period so you know, without besides the Eastern New Mexico loss, where where they you know did some really good things in overtime, we've we've been very efficient in overtime. So, you know, I'd like to win a regulation, but at the end of the day, uh, we're giving ourselves a chance to win a lot of games, and and that's all we can ask for, and just hope it bounces our way, and we make enough plays to be one point up top before it's all said and done. You're finishing up a five-game road trip tomorrow night with a game in Wisdom Gym against Stephenville. You handled them pretty well in your first matchup here last month at the Fieldhouse. What's it going to take to get a repeat performance on the road tomorrow night? Well, I think it's two different teams. Uh, you know, college basketball season so long. Uh, they're playing very well right now. Um, you know, I think we've played well in spurts as well. Uh, it's going to be a battle. I mean, they're going to be very well prepared, and we're, we're trying to get our guys prepared right now. Uh, I think if you're going to take anything away from uh, what we need to do is, you know, we have to get as many shots as they get. Um, that means we got to limit our turnovers and get a shot every possession. We've got to take care of the glass. Uh, if we get a, as many shots as they do, um, I feel like we'll have a chance to win. Um, but that's easier said than done. They're very good on their home floor, and, and what Coach Reisman and uh, Chris Reisman, his son, as the associate head coach, have done um, speaks for itself the program that they've you know, created and that they keep winning year in and year out. And those guys expect to win, especially on their home floor, and we got to find a way to uh, you know, change that tomorrow night. Yeah, Coach, they've won five out of their last six and have moved themselves up into the top four of the LSC. Your last three games come against those teams right around you, one, two, and four. What's it going to be like the last three games getting ready for that conference tournament in Frisco coming up pretty soon? Well, th there's not going to be a – and there hasn't been for a while. There's not an easy game, no matter for the rest of the way. No matter who we play in the conference tournament. No matter every every game is going to be tough. We got to win or lose. We got to refocus and get ready for the next opponent because they're all they're all tough. They're all going to be prepared and they're all trying to beat us. So uh, you know we're just worried about the next 24 hours, getting ourselves prepared to uh, take the floor uh, at 7:30 in Stephenville, and you know see how we play and try to play as a team and try to you know do the best we can to give ourselves a chance to win. And then we'll worry about the next opponent. Um, you know, the nice thing is we'll have some. Uh, we got some time off after uh, after this long road trip to kind of get our legs back and kind of refresh a little bit. Um, but you know, it's gonna be a battle tomorrow. We I just hope we we show up and we compete at a high level. Absolutely, Coach. Thanks for being with us here today. Once again, Lions on the road in Stephenville to take on Tarleton State. That game tips off tomorrow night at 7.30 in Stephenville. You can catch up with all the news and numbers from that game and more right here on lionathletics.com. And for lionathletics.com, I'm BJ Laudermilk.